Okay, I was just going to provide a little more information and testing on uh, this response time issue. I had some people say, you know, you're comparing an OLED to an IPS on the Surface Laptop Studio 2, and that's a fair, that's fair. The reason I was using that, though, is because an OLED's kind of a best case scenario, and I wanted to highlight what it is I was seeing more than try to co directly compare it to that. Um, but these are IPS displays. We have the X13 uh, with the 4070. It has 165 uh, hertz IPS display. This is the Surface Laptop Studio 1, and this is the Surface Laptop Studio 2 over here. And I, you can already, we'll do slow motion comparisons, but you can already see the difference, uh, at least in person, you, you definitely can. But we'll do some slow motion shots of these two devices, all these three devices compared. Okay, and now we're looking at the X13 and the Surface Laptop Studio 2. And in slow motion. So there, there we have it, guys. I just am posting this as a reference. Again, this is not a game changer for everyone, uh, but it is a problem for some of us who expected at least comparable performance and response times from the Surface Laptop Studio One. Um, I'm, as I said in the first video, I don't think the Surface Laptop Studio Two is a bad device. It does so many things so well. I, I mostly just want to bring attention to this so that uh, people are aware of what the capabilities are and maybe Microsoft has a fix for this. Maybe there's ways to adjust the firmware on the panel to improve this. Um, so yeah, I just am posting this as a response to some of the comments that I'm getting to further demonstrate and compare the issue to other IPS displays.